We're going to talk about the landing gear now. Originally, the landing gear was retractable in this airplane. The nose gear came straight back up into a tunnel. The main gear went up into a tunnel also. The two legs were spindly. They had to come together and then retract as a pair up into the, up into the tunnel. They were done with two jack screws, electric jack screws that ran, one ran the nose gear, one ran the aft gear. There was a problem though, because the gear was so heavy, when you start to pull G's with the airplane, the, the gear would kind of flex down against all the brackets. The electric motors would then be triggered because the gear would come off as, of the micro switch telling it to stop moving, and it would move it, the gear up further. And then you go to put it down, and the gear had been kind of locked up there with the tension. There were a lot of people that had problems with the electric gear. So I converted mine over to the electro-hydraulic system. I had specific pneumatic and hydraulic cylinders made for me, converted electric hydraulic pump in the back, and had the entire gear in and working, and had a pneumatic system to back up as an emergency in case something were to go wrong. We were still having problems with the gear at that point in time. The nose gear was also having problems with castering. Because of the way it was mounted on the, on the engine mount, it would pick up torque from the engine, and the, the nose gear fork would flex a little bit, and the, the nose would, would tend, have a tendency to go off the runway on you. Uh, I think there were actually a couple of fatalities associated with that, and there were quite a few crashes associated with that, where the airplane would uh, jump off the runway. So I, one fellow came out with an entire gear replacement system to go to, mechanic, or to, to a fixed gear system. The, also, the um, retractable gear system was four feet wide, had smaller tires because they had to bring them up inside the fuselage. The fixed gear is eight feet wide, um, has bigger tires and brakes, and the nose gear is off of a Lancer 4, and it's a ver full castering nose gear, and it works extremely well. I'm very, very pleased that I converted the gear over. The, um, in the process of converting the nose gear over, I had to create a fin, which I created right here, and at the same time I installed my landing lights in that fin. Uh, all the three gear gears have the, um, the wheel pants on them. From what I can tell, because I've run next to other airplanes, is I've lost maybe seven or eight knots in cruise. In climb, I don't think I've lost anything because at the speed that you're climbing at, usually about 160 knots indicated, uh, there just isn't that much of a, of, a, of a drag factor in the fixed gear. The other thing, the other way around actually, is I have had a little bit of trouble figuring out how to land it in the beginning because the gear was so finely uh, smoothed in with the fixed gear and there were no big gaping holes in the bottom of the airplane like you'd have in the normal retractable gear airplane but the airplane floats a lot so you had to learn how to pick your touchdown point earlier which I have no problem doing once I've learned how to do it but of course I had no experience in flying the airplane before I flew it. So I've converted completely to the fixed gear. There are about 10 kits out there doing that are doing it. I think that from there are roughly four airplanes right now that have the fixed gear and uh, all of us really like it a lot.